Hi everyone, this is Tanan from Car Inspected and today we're uh, just outside of the island of Montreal taking a look at this uh, 1970 um, Torino GT and it's a 302 engine and it's a convertible. So I was told that they only made 3,889 out of this specific model or this specific combination with this engine. So just want to mention that the hood is not lined up because we left it partially open. Uh, that's not how the hood should look like. So we'll close it at near the end of the video. Tires, 2008. Plenty of tread left. Brakes, again, brakes and discs are in very good shape in the front. Cross member. So uh, the transmission was rebuilt recently as well, and this is an all uh, stock. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't modified. It was just rebuilt. You can see the bell housing and the uh, oil pan. So 3,939 that were ever made. Sorry for the uh, for the initial claim. So we did the paint thickness measurements on all of the panels. There is metal everywhere. You can see a little bit of uh, filler that's here but there is metal inside and here as well the rest all has metal we've done multiple points on each panel uh, for paint thickness and I know that you might be concerned about this little crack in the paint I checked here and I checked here and there is paint thickness around as well small imperfections but the paint job is not bad at all. You can see the reflection of the trees. And the paint work is uh, 15 years old. But for a 15 year old paint job, this is uh, not bad at all. The alignment of the doors, little, little rust spot here. This is bubbling, this is not a rust spot. It's a uh, bubbling rust from the paint. The liners of the doors and the hinge, very solid. The windows go up and down. There is no interference with the speakers that are sticking out a little bit. And you can see the seats. Very clean. So uh, I was also told that the seat belts were an option. This one has it. So that's the import sticker. You can see all of the um, wiring. So uh, the steering wheel is uh, original. Original steering wheel for seven ton. We'll get to that uh, other side in a minute, but we'll take the time to show the rear. You can see the carpets very clean. The rear speakers.
So uh, the owner was kind enough to leave it on the trailer so that we can take a look at the undercarriage. Rear drum brakes. And the tires in the rear, you can see again plenty of tread left. I would say at least um, 7.30 seconds here and here it's actually close to 9.30 seconds. Leaf springs. Alright, now the trunk. So there's a lot of parts that come with the car. Rear shocks, or front shocks, sorry, and the cable for the parking brake. There is a... Rear, rear wheel cylinders. Rear cylinders, okay. Rear wheel spring kit. And the spring kit for the rear, and here Shoes. we have the, the liners. That's an original jack. I can probably hear uh, that I'm just repeating whatever, <laughs> whatever um, the owner is telling me. Um, so does that come with it? Yeah. Okay. So the speakers and the amp. Okay. So we did uh, also take paint thickness measurements on these points here just to show that even though in the video it shows like it's rust but it's not there is paint in there or sorry there is metal in there uh, what you're hearing is I'm standing on the trailer and every time I move slightly um, metal the, the the metal is bending but it's it's not it has nothing to do with the car this is the trailer The hinges in the rear, and the alignment is perfect. The Ford logo on the lighting. Rear tires are both the same, with the same age. Driver side. Door. Just watching out not to hit anything. Check out the um, the roof liner uh, as a second part of the video. So it's going to be a, it's most likely going to be another video. We'll show the engine running and we'll show the roof operation. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's an 
uh, aluminium radiator um, with an electric cooling fan and then the transmission cooler power steering alternator power brakes That's the horn, we'll check it. The belts are all clean. The shock towers or the shock mounts are in good shape on both sides. Battery. It's being charged as we speak so that we'll uh, take the car for a test drive. The hood hinge. Wagner headlights. Another look at the uh, front rod support and uh, cross member. Front tires for tread depth. Alright, that concludes the first video. And the next video will show um, a little more um, details about the controls or the gauges and the roof and the engine while it's running. Thank you for watching.